Hi, your cat has hepatic lipidosis. Fortunately, uh, after his uh, stay with us, he's all better and he's ready to go home today. Uh, I'm doing the discharge with you and I'm going to talk to you about something that we need you to do uh, when you're home with your cat to help him get back on his paws as fast as possible. Um, so basically what we did on our side while he was with us at the hospital is we installed what we call a gastric tube. Uh, it's a tube that will go straight into the stomach and then will come out and come out on his, around his neck area uh, so we can tube feed him directly into his stomach. Now I can hear you telling me why do we do this? Why do we put a tube to feed him directly into his stomach? Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. Basically, uh, hepatic lipidosis is what happens when a cat doesn't eat for a certain period of time. So uh, our main problem here is that your cat is not eating properly, he's not eating enough, or he's not eating at all. Uh, to counter the effects of that, we need him to, uh, to eat, to absorb nutrients as much as possible. And if he's not doing that on his own, and he's not eating on his own, then we have to send the nutrients directly into his stomach to sort of kickstart <laughs> the digestion for him. Uh, so basically that's why we put in uh, the gastric tube. Uh, our main goal is that the cat eats more calories than what he's actually burning off. So we, we need to have a positive caloric balance at all times. Those extra calories are not going to actually make him fat. They're going to be used uh, to build up what he's lost by not eating. And uh, also the good protein, I'll talk to you about that a bit later, the good protein in, in the food that we're feeding him is going to help build the muscle and the lean body mass that he's lost by not eating for a certain period of time. Also, your cat might be a bit nauseous right now because of his condition, and if he tries to eat by himself and then gets sick and vomits, then he's going to associate the food with vomiting, and that's going to uh, make him develop food aversion, and we, won't, we don't want that to happen because then he might be less likely to eat this food in the future, which is the complete opposite of what we want right now. So how do we tube feed our cat? Well, let me introduce you to our wonderful demo cat, Mr. Twinkles. Mr. Twinkles is a bit scary, so I apologize that he looks a bit weird, but he's actually a uh, sweetheart. So as you can see, uh, Mr. Twinkles has a tube, a uh, gastric tube right here. Uh, this is basically to protect it and to keep it in place. The tube is here. This would actually go right into the cat's stomach. Uh, obviously right now uh, it's not going into Mr. Twinkle's stomach because he doesn't have a stomach. But <laughs> if in your cat that's what's going on, it's right into the stomach. And it comes out here around the neck area, right here, and I'll show you more precisely. At the top here we have what we call a three-way uh, stock off, and this will help us put in the food. Totally seriously, this is what it's called. And uh, basically this is going to help us put in the food and you can close it so that nothing goes in uh, in between the feeding, like no air or no dirt or whatever to keep us uh, keep our feeding tube clean. What we decided to do is that uh, your feedings are going to be five feedings per day uh, and it's going to be a quarter of a can of Hills LD per feeding. Now why so many feedings? You are telling me I can hear you, right? You're saying why so many feedings. Why? Basically because we want the stomach and the uh, small intestine to uh, take it easy for now. Because they haven't been working for a while and they sort of uh, they sort of forget how to do their job. They lose the uh, they lose the ability to do their job really properly, so we want to go easy at first to get them used to absorbing the good nutrients again. Not just like shock them with a lot of food all of a sudden. It's not a good thing. So we're going slowly, baby steps to get the system used to the food slowly until uh, it's completely fine and then we can like gradually lower the amount of feedings per day until the cat actually eats by itself. So uh, with the food that you're going to take, so a quarter of a can that you mix with equal parts of water or just, just as much water as it needs to be able to syringe it. So I've already done it, you can see it here, so I syringe with the food and the water. Um, so you need to warm it up also, it needs to be just a little bit warm, like not hot, obviously we don't want to burn the, the cat's stomach, but it needs to be warm so it's, it's more easily digested by the stomach. Stomach usually when the food gets to it, it's warm, it's not cold. 
the soup of cold food in there, not good. Um, then, before you actually put the food in, you have another syringe, which I don't have right now, but pretend I have a syringe here in my head, uh, filled with water, because with warm water, again, what we want to do is rinse the tube before and after every feed. We have here a bowl that will serve as our cat's stomach, uh, for lack of uh, real stomach. Uh, so basically, we want to push this really slowly because if it goes in too fast, then your cat might vomit, and uh, that's not good. We don't want him to lose the nutrients. We want him to absorb them. So it needs to be very, very, very slow. And put it back. There we go. Mr. Pringles uses that like a pro. Very, very awesome. So this is what we're going to do with your cat. This is what you need to do, basically, with your cat. Uh, for as long as it needs. Now, how long exactly is that, right? Again, I hear you. Basically, we need to do this until your cat eats by himself. Uh, so, always have some food out. What we recommend, basically, is uh, AD by Hill, which is a very palatable uh, diet. Cats love it. They go crazy for it. So, just put it around him and see if he'll, he's going to eat by himself. You can also try to warm it up uh, or put sprinkle cheese on it. Uh, or anything that has a good smell that will entice him to eat. So as soon as he's eating enough by himself, then you can probably take out the, the tube. I guess you very good luck with your uh, tube feeding processes. If you have any problems, don't uh, hesitate to call us and ask us any questions you have. But I'm pretty sure you're well on your way uh, to help your kitty feel better in no time.